not try this at home. Hey Grok, I'm stuck in traffic in Daytona Beach. Is there an accident around here? Yeah, checking real-time reports, there's a reported crash on Interstate 95 northbound near exit 73 in Daytona Beach, causing major backups around your spot. Hang tight or try International Speedway Boulevard as a detour. Thank you. You're welcome. Safe travel. Life is so much better. <laughs> it's just a more comfortable hey, hey, drive. Hold it, honey, hold it. A more smooth drive, more comfortable. I can relax. It's, you know, there's no road rage. There's no, you know, I can't have my breakfast in the car. I can do other things, put on some makeup, you know. It's just uh, great. And I use it like on and off because I'm on the highway and I'm not on the highway. So it's on and off on the way to school. And, uh, you know, it's great. And I don't want to be without it anymore. So. Ever. Ever. I've been a driver for more than 40 years. And, um, <clears throat> and I've been driving from Northern New Jersey to South Florida for about 20 years. Gas cars and then, of course, Tesla since 2018. What happened in this 1,280 miles that my wife and my son drove? We got here uh, last night, Christmas Eve, by the way, Merry Christmas to you, is revolutionary. Yesterday, I made you a video of driving FSD from my place in Fort Lauderdale to the supercharger right here. I drove on, two, uh, on the latest, almost the latest version. 14.2.2, it has changed the world. It has changed, Tesla has changed the world. I'm gonna show you <clears throat> the videos along the way. And I thought that this, I, I, I mean, I, this driver is gonna say, let's see, uh, let's check the efficiency of the car and the, or, and the full safe drive. Well, I drove like 99%. I mean, my screen shows 95 because I bought this car in inventory. It has about 500 miles on it, which we're not driven by FSD. Anyway, I, I took over the car a couple times just to change the route because I know I around the Baltimore DC area, I know shortcuts. So I took over say car go from this way, but a, a hundred percent of FSD. This is not a, I'm, go, I'm going from my house to the supermarket for five minutes. This is, 2,000 kilometers, 1,280 miles I consumed. So I said, okay, so let's see how much, 100%. Usually it was, I take over here, 100%, 100%. Then, because this Tesla is a rear-wheel drive, okay, it has the most range, 355 miles. I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna care about efficiency. I mean, I was so strict about it. I drove like 80 miles per hour on Mad Max, 80 miles per hour, you know, we started in the snow, we st over bridges, nothing, nothing. 32 degrees started and now it's what, 70, 75, 775 degrees. I mean, what this, the, the, the whole idea of road tripping is changed forever. I never sit in the back seat, never, never, ever. When, when was in the back seat? You know, I put my earbuds, sit in the back, Watch Netflix, watch YouTube. For the time, you don't even feel the time. It used to be you come, you you finish this road trip. It's like about about twenty two hours. We do it over two days: ten hours one day, twelve hours the next day. Okay, twenty two is a lot of hours. When you used to drive ga gas cars, I mean, thank God I'm still alive. You know, you're like right foot is numb. But not only that, <clears throat> you have the grok as as your as your uh, uh, co-pilot. I mean, I, sh I showed you, we stuck in a, in traffic. I didn't know what happened. Hey, Grok, what's going on? Is there a car accident? Yes, car accident. You can take this shortcut, <coughs> that shortcut, whatever. It's unbelievable. I'm Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Thank you for joining. I'm gonna show you the videos that we took, but first, if you're new, please subscribe. Let me change the word one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters. If you're in the market to buy a Tesla, use my referral code. And this video, as always, is sponsored by Joa. They're amazing, really amazing. Get 5% off your accessories and use my code TI. And here are the videos. Enjoy, everybody. Okay, guys, our first stop is in Delaware. 
the Joe Biden rest area in Delaware, 133.7 miles we drove, all on FSD, from my driveway at home to the supercharger, including backing up and, and charging. The FSD, I know I do so many FSD videos. This is incredible. This is incredible, incredible. No, has nothing. And we are on 14.2.2. Just got the update last night. The performance, the confidence, the ch lane changing. It's so, uh, on, on the on the Delaware Memorial Bridge. There was a police. I was on the left left lane. The police a police came behind. The police coming. I the car by itself moved to the middle. Let the police go. Toll boots all the way to the supercharger, backing up. Incredible, incredible. FSD is freaking incredible. Now the watt hour per mile consumption two eighty six point one. So uh, it's about four and a half miles per. Um, Per kilowatt, per um, so yes, per kilowatt. Now the car is packed. It's my wife, my wife and my son. They both went to the rest area, and I have a full size tire, jack, suitcases in the front. I have a, a like this portable refrigerator full of food. The car is is packed. We we left the, the we left New Jersey in the snow, a lot of slush. So it's really a lot of energy consumed, but still incredible, incredible performance incredible performance efficiency and all that now as we're going to go continue south we're going to continue now to virginia and then to north carolina as we get to uh, florida uh, the temperature obviously you know we left at 32 degrees now it's 34 35 so as the temperature rise up we're going to get much much better numbers so we'll continue to uh, to update you please follow me and i see you in the next video this is something new. I haven't seen this before. I'm at the Joe Biden uh, rest area in Delaware. Apple Green Electric. There are six stations, three on each side, not too far from the Tesla supercharger, right at this uh, rest area. I come here all the time. Now, what's good about this, <clears throat> look at that, 400 kilowatt. Wow, and not only that, it has two CCS and two NACs, two uh, Tesla Tesla chargers and two, and two uh, CCS. Now the only Tesla that can receive 400 kilowatt is the Cybertruck, but some Hyundais can get that. It's really interesting. They have all these spots and all these stations. This is new, I've never seen this before. This is great. Okay guys, here is a, uh, an update I have a driver, he's my son, Roy, uh, and my wife is in the back. Hi, honey. Uh, we drove so far 488 miles from Northern New Jersey. We are around, right around Raleigh, North Carolina. We stayed in the in the Double Tree Hotel in... Uh, Rocky Mount. Thank you, sir. Rocky Mount. We like that. We like that place. It's nice. As a nice steakhouse and a supercharger walking distance to the hotel, we highly recommend. So, so far we consumed 133.4 kilowatt hour on the battery. And the, um, and the average energy, the, uh, the watt hour per mile is high, 273.1, which gives you about 3.7-ish uh, miles per kilowatt. That's very high. Now this car, what there's so many great things about this car. We are, we are on autopilot, uh, no, we are on full safe drive. I would say 99%. A couple times my wife took over just to change the route, but it's amazing. My son is driving it now. We're having the morning coffee. Everybody's happy. Just look straight and all that. But what I can tell you, it's three adults. It's three of us, and the car is packed from front to back. Literally, Frank has a fridge with tons of food, full-size tire and all that. And also, we left yesterday at like 32 degrees right now we are at 52 so as the weather is getting warm uh i think uh, the uh performance of the energy consumption will be much better okay we will uh, update you tonight from south florida this is a tough left turn unprotected left turn a la chuck so traffic from the left coming and in the 
car proceeds and goes to the left lane. Wonderful, that was great. Now, I th we're going to a supercharger in Dillon, South Carolina, and there's supposed to be a U-turn coming up yeah, in 0.3 miles. So let's see how does it do the U-turn. There it is, it's coming up. It's like a weird U-turn. Okay, let's see, it's not this light, it's the next light. All right, it's gonna, I, I'm not sure about this U-turn. Okay, here we go. Looks like a left turn to me, but let's see what it does. Okay, it does show a U-turn. So it goes here, it's a left turn. It's not a U-turn. It's stupid. Okay, let's see. It's supposed just to do a left turn right into the supercharger. Yeah. And then it's going to go. There's about like 40 superchargers here. I've been here. We've been here before. There's like one Tesla. Okay. I wonder what she chooses. Anything. Anyone. Okay. So this is going to go in reverse. And there are There's about 40 here. And there are chargers that are hit first. Okay, here we go. Not doing a great job, her. She, she, she will adjust. Don't worry, worry. It's not, a, it's not, not a great job parking. I, I, just let, let's see. Don't tell me she's done. Okay, no good, no good. <laughs> we are in a supercharger in Dillon, South Carolina. It's about forty stalls, and four of them over there. Let me show you. Four of them are head first. These are for Tesla cars who, ha who are tow which, uh, towing anything. So you can go head first without disconnecting your cargo. Your tow. So it has like a Popeyes, Starbucks across the street. Right there, Starbucks. We've been there many times. It's a very nice uh, supercharger. Only two, two Teslas here. <laughs> Amazing. Do not try this at home. I'm telling you guys, this table so that I bought from Joa, I'll put you a link. You can buy it. It's the best thing ever. We are in a supercharger in Hardisville, South Carolina. We drove 803 miles so far, 218.3 kilowatt hour energy and 271.6 watt hour per mile. That gives us, Roy, how much, what was it, the number? 3.69 miles per, um, uh, per kilowatt. So we are moving along. It is 75 degrees. So uh, weather is one of the biggest corporates of, of, of range. I'm telling you, I'll give you a link. Buy this table. This table is amazing. It's like like a little airplane table. How do you recommend? Hey, Grok, I'm stuck in traffic in Daytona Beach. Is there an accident around here? Yeah, checking real-time reports, there's a reported crash on Interstate 95 northbound near exit 73 in Daytona Beach, causing major backups around your spot. Hang tight or try International Speedway Boulevard as a detour. Thank you. You're welcome. Safe travel.